History tells us that Jesus Christ of Nazareth was crucified under the governorship of Pontius Pilate. And Pontius Pilate, at the time that he had Jesus crucified, resisted quite a bit. He didn't really see that Jesus had committed any capital crime. But what he did was he allowed the crowd to take another prisoner into freedom in exchange for handing over Jesus. It was a custom that Pilate had at that time each year. And so he said to the crowd, what would you have me do with Jesus? And the crowd said, crucify him. But the crowd did say, we want Barabbas. Now this man Barabbas is a very interesting figure because Barabbas, the Bible tells us, was an insurrectionist. He was part of a great rebellion, an insurrectionist, a person who tries to take over with violence, with hostility, someone else's authority. And so Barabbas had been involved in this rebellion, and as a part of it, he had murdered so the crowd decided that they wanted an insurrectionist and a murderer rather than Jesus Christ. And Peter, in a wonderful sermon that we find in Acts chapter 3, says in verse 14, You, you the Jewish people, disowned the holy and righteous one and asked for a murderer to be granted to you. My friends, that's essentially what all of us do who reject Jesus Christ. You see, Barabbas is a type of Satan. Satan is the ultimate insurrectionist and murderer. Satan led the rebellion to try to take over God's throne back when Satan was Lucifer, a good angel. He envied God and tried to take over. And Jesus goes on to tell us, that Satan is actually a murderer, that he's been a murderer since the beginning, since he tempted Adam and Eve and drew them into sin because the wages of sin is death. The question for each and every one of us is, are we taking a murderer in exchange for Jesus Christ, the author of life? Because when you refuse Jesus, by default, you are saying yes to Satan. And no matter what you think about the life he supposedly gives you now, you will end up in eternal hell because Satan is a liar and a murderer.